Hey everyone, it's Jess. There's a lot that's happened in the week that I last saw you. Firstly, oh, firstly, guys, look at this. Guys, I got this giant oil incense mirror. That's my hand. <laughs> I'm so happy with him. So someone was selling him on Facebook and I was like, uh, 40 centimeters tall whale fin? Yes, please. And it's $45. So I thought it was quite a good price to pay for this size. But the funny thing was that the seller was actually uh, one of my friends from high school. So it's quite nice. It's a nice reunion as well. So I picked this guy up over the last week. And then guys, I think you would have seen this as well. But I picked up... I think like 50 Hoyas? <laughs> nah, it's only 10 or so, but I've unboxed them and I just haven't had time to pot them up. So what I'm really hoping to do today, guys, is I'm going to go to Bunnings and pick up some pots so I can do a big potting se session for my Hoyas. But guys, I'm really excited for them. It's my Obovanta Splash, my Fungi Eye. I've got a normal Obavata somewhere here. And then this is the Corinara. Corinara. <laughs> Corinara? That's like the virus. No. Um, he's super furry. So very happy. And guys, <laughs> that's what I'm saying. A lot of it happens when I don't talk to you. But guys, I got a Syngonium Fantasy. What? And, guys, I should have shown him when I first got him, guys, because he had three white leaves. It's insane. He's got this one coming up. I hope this one looks all white. All of his white leaves have since fallen and died, which is a shame because I didn't even get a photo of that. But, guys, very excited. And then my Syngonium Wendilani. I, I must admit, I need to pay this guy a little bit more attention because... Since I got him, I've just kind of left him there. I think he needs a bit of water. Watering. Oh, his poor little yellow leaf. <sighs> Alright guys, I'm going to take him out for water. And then guys, and then the other thing I wanted to show you is more plants. I feel like I'm doing a show and tell for everyone. I hope you don't mind. I promise you there's going to be more exciting content coming out soon. But guys, I literally got this yesterday. Oh my god, I can't believe this. I will do a full video on him. But my precious. Oh, guys, guys, guys. Look, I got an Ethereum crystal. Lalium, Cristanalium yesterday. Oh my goodness. And guys, I cannot believe this. This is the most precious plant I have in my collection. Actually, his, his spag is a bit dry. Let me take him out. Isn't he a freaking... Oh, sorry guys. Isn't he a freaking stunner? My god, what a magnificent plant. All right. He's looking quite dry there, so I'm going to water him. But my goodness, guys. I just never thought I'd own one of these. Um, and then, guys, look. I've got some new growth on my Alocasia cytopelia. Some beautiful ribbing there compared to when I first got her. And then I got oh, my... My painted lady cutting is getting more. Look, she's got new growth. And then my Gloriosum is looking quite pretty. This is new leaf. I don't know if you can get the shimmer on that. Oh, yes, there we go, the shimmer. And then, of course, my silver cloud is looking very happy with some new growth. New growth. My Strandulana is melting. Guys, I want to do a video on this because that was just trauma. Is it still damp? Well, it's not as damp as I hope it was. It might give you water. And then, guys, I got a Silti Pacana El Salvador yesterday. What? So, 
guys I'm going to do a full video on these new plants because I think in the I think in January I I've acquired about 20 or so plants um, but that means I guess more plant videos for everyone so I'm going to water my crystal lanium and then my uh, strandoliata and then I'll see you guys soon all right, I'm outside in the garden now and I'm going to just do a little pattern around in the garden. Um, oh, guys, look. Guys, did you, can you see that? I just noticed this new growth. Oh my goodness, guys, on my whale fin. Oh, how exciting. Oh guys, sorry, I just got distracted, but that's so exciting guys. Um, man, I really enjoy summer, particularly when there's, there's an aeroplane. Guys, I was saying I really enjoy summer because it means my plants get a whole lot of new growth. Like look guys, look at the size of my fiddle leaf. This is huge. I think I might just clean his leaves a bit because over the past couple of days it's been some strange weather in Sydney. We've got like, we've had brown rain. I think it's just a combination of there's so much smoke in the air and we've had a period of, not a lot of rain, we've just had a period of some rain and then I think because of the smoke and the dirt in the atmosphere it's just created this brown, this brown rain but I'm going to clean him up. And then guys, look at my Snow Queen. She's kind of bursted in happiness. She's super long now. I remember when I had her on the ground, she wasn't as long. And then guys, I don't know if you know, but a few videos ago, I created this sphagnum pole for my Siltipicana. And I gotta say guys, it's really encouraged this much growth. Which goes to show, if you mimic the plant's natural habitat, like guys, all this, this is growing in, I think the past, past two weeks or so. As I was saying, if you give, if you give your plants the right, if you mimic their natural habitat, uh, it will do wonders for that plant. Guys, and look, the leaves get bigger. I've got to water this. I wanted to do some repotting today, but because it's Chinese New Year, my dad was like, don't repot and dig up dirt because I guess in, uh, busy for the older generation and me too, because I'm quite, if you can hear my dad, oh dad. <laughs> um, I guess for me and also, I mean, I'm a little bit superstitious as well, but Chinese New Year is full of these customs, which are all about, um, fostering good luck and we tend to avoid things that that seem to have and so that will have a, an association with something that's not so good so digging up dirt my dad's like look dirt is not necessarily the most cleanest thing to do so he, he's advised me to to not do some reporting today but i can still water my plants right, guys also what i wanted to show you was these guys this one and this one actually not mine it's my friends but I was plant sitting for her and I noticed that he was giving mealybugs so he's in quarantine but unfortunately I think because mealybugs are highly contagious so they will jump from one plant to another so I think this guy has some mealybugs as well so these guys are being kept in quarantine what I do to treat them is and I will show you I will show you what I do to treat them is every day I've been trying to spray them with a mix of just your normal, um, just your mix of normal soapy water and spray them every day. So I'm going to do that right now. Okay, so I'm in my bathroom and what we're going to do is we're going to fill this one up with some your normal um, soap. So I'm going to use this Dettol and 
yeah, then I just get one pump and turn it into a uh, soapy spray, and then I'm gonna sp I'm gonna spray it on the plants that I think I'm gonna have some mealy bit bugs. What I've read about soapy mixes is that they're not harmful to your plants, um, but you just have to be mindful of the soap you're using. So I'm using the basic antibacterial hand wash Dettol. It's quite gentle. I, I read that they're not that harmful to your plants, so I'm just going to do a mix of that. Alright guys, so Sophie mix is done. I'm gonna go and spray this now. Huh? Yeah, hold tight. Okay. All right. Spray, spray, spray. Now, guys, when you're spraying, I am quite generous because I don't like mealy bugs. So I'm going to drench, effectively drench this plant with this soapy spray. Always make sure because mealy bugs, they're very good at hide and seek. So you want to make sure you get all the crevices under the leaf as well. Now I will do that ideally twice a day because I really want to get rid of these mealy bugs and for precaution I like to spray my plants that are near it because as I said mealy bugs can be highly contagious so this is just a precautionary precautionary measure. <laughs> 